Climbing over huge piles of debris, small teams of recovery workers comb the remains of towns that took a direct hit from the tsunami. There are still thousands of people missing. This search for bodies in Minami Sanriku was unsuccessful. At evacuation centers, survivors are shown photos of bodies they may be able to identify as relatives. Their homes destroyed, the evacuees have been here for more than two weeks. A particularly tough existence for the elderly. Precious possessions are cleaned and stored in tents, waiting for someone to claim them. For many survivors, a few photos are all that remain of their belongings. Volunteers have been forming search parties, not to look for the missing, but to look for memories. They scour the remains of houses, salvaging photo albums. There are so many photos. I wonder whether the people in them survived or not. It makes me feel sad. Some people returned to conduct their own searches. This woman came back to where she used to live. She hasn't seen her mother since the day the tsunami struck. <laughs> All I want is my mom back. It appears little has changed here in the last fortnight. The scale of the disaster is still overwhelming. With much of the focus now diverted to the ongoing crisis at the nuclear power station in Fukushima, it's easy to forget the mammoth task that lies ahead for communities up and down this coastline. In the midst of the gloom, a small step is being taken towards some sort of recovery. Workers are restoring power to the evacuation centers. But with most buildings gone, it'll be a long time before electricity is needed in town. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Minami Sanriku, Japan.